a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Professional Wrestling Match Types Many types of wrestling matches, sometimes called concept or gimmick matches, in the jargon of the business, are performed in professional wrestling. Some of them occur relatively frequently, while others are developed so as to advance an angle, and such match types are used rarely. Because of professional wrestling's long history over decades, many things have been recycled. These match types can be organized into several loose groups. Singles Matches The singles match is the most basic of all professional wrestling matches, which involves only two competitors competing for one fall. Victory is obtained by pinfall, submission, knockout, countout or disqualification. Tag Team Match on most occasions, one member of the team competes in the ring with one or more of his slash her teammates standing behind the ropes. Wrestlers switch positions by tagging one another, usually similar to a high five and, as a result, these teams are referred to as tag teams. This can create tension during the match as an injured wrestler in the middle of the ring attempts to reach his slash her teammate, often with the heel team preventing them from doing so. In typical tag team matches, standard wrestling rules apply with a match ending by pinfall, submission, countout, or disqualification. Promotions usually have established tag teams that most often compete in team matches rather than singles matches, though teams will often break up to pursue a singles career, usually via a turn. Teams often consist of real-life friends or relatives. On other occasions, teams are booked together by promoters based on their face or heel alignment in order to increase the amount of wrestlers on the card or to advance multiple storylines at once. Promotions, such as WWE, usually have a tag team championship for a team of two wrestlers, and on rare occasion allies of the reigning tag team will be allowed to defend the title in the place of one of the reigning wrestlers under the Freebird rule. Though common in Mexican lucha libre, at one point, World Championship Wrestling had a championship for teams of three. WWE also can have three or four tag teams going against each other. Tornado Tag Team Match Matches in which the entire team competes at once is often referred to as a tornado tag match, specifically in WWE. Matches can be held under standard rules or as a specialty match, such as a steel cage match or a ladder match. Elimination Tag Team Match Tag team matches are occasionally held under elimination rules. That is, the losing wrestler is eliminated from the match. But his slash her team is allowed to continue with their remaining members until all members of one team is eliminated. One famous example of this match is the Survivor Series match held in WWE at their annual Survivor Series pay-per-view. Teams of four or five, though on some occasions as many as seven, compete under elimination rules. All other standard rules apply, and team members may tag in and out in any order. While some teams are already established stables, others may need to recruit members for their team. In Lucha Libre promotions, Atonio Cybernetico is a similar type of match between teams of up to eight wrestlers who enter in a predetermined order. Winner Takes All Match A winner takes all match is a match where both wrestlers are champions going into the match and the winner receives the championship of the loser, thus, taking all. This is not the same as a championship unification match. Empty Arena Match An empty arena match is a hardcore match between two or more wrestlers that takes place in an arena devoid of fans. The only people present are the competitors, referee, commentators, and cameramen. The match is broadcast, or videotaped and played later. An example of this is the WWF Championship match between The Rock and Mankind that took place in Tucson, Arizona at the Tucson Convention Center during the WWF Super Bowl halftime show on January 31, 1999. One of the earliest and best-known empty arena matches occurred in 1981 in Memphis, Tennessee at the Mid-South Coliseum between Jerry Lawler and Terry Funk. Empty arena matches are rare, and usually accompany other filled arena matches, due to the cost of renting an arena and not selling tickets. Falls Count Anywhere Match A Falls Count Anywhere match is a match where only pinfalls can take place in any location, negating the standard rule that they must take place inside the ring and between the ropes. 
As such, this also eliminates the usual count-out rule. As the match may take place in various parts of the arena, the falls count anywhere provision is almost always accompanied with a no disqualification stipulation to make the match a hardcore match, so as to allow wrestlers the convenience to use any objects they may find wherever they wrestle. A variation of the rule states that once a pinfall takes place, the pinned wrestler would lose the match if he is unable to return to the ring within a specific amount of time, usually a referee's count of 10 or 30. If the pinned wrestler makes it to the ring in this time, the match continues. Under these rules, all pinfalls must take place outside of the ring, technically making the match no longer falls count anywhere. Occasionally, this stipulation is listed as having a specific territory in which falls count. A new variation of the stipulation, submissions count anywhere, debuted at breaking point in a match between D-Generation X and The Legacy. Generally, falls counting anywhere still has a de facto limitation that the falls occur somewhere inside the arena, but at St. Valentine's Day Massacre, in your house. An extreme example occurred which saw hardcore Holly pinned Al Snow on the banks of the Mississippi River. Flag Match The flag match is essentially the professional wrestling version of Capture the Flag. For the match two flags are placed on opposite turnbuckles each representing a specific wrestler or team of wrestlers, and the objective of the match is to retrieve the opponent's flag, and raise it while defending the flag in the wrestler's corner. If the referee is knocked down, and cannot acknowledge the win, the defender can put the flag back in its place, thus resetting the match. An anthem match is a variant of a flag match, with the added stipulation that the national anthem of the winning wrestlers, or team's home country will be played in the arena after the match similar to an Olympic medal celebration. This can be used to promote patriotism, for the face wrestler or each for the heel wrestler. Trading Places Match A match where the two participants must dress up as each other. In addition to dressing up as the other, a participant also uses the other's entrance theme as his own. Handicap Match A handicap match is any match where one wrestler or team of wrestlers face off against a team of wrestlers, with numerical superiority such as 2 against 1, 3 against 2 etc. Normally the baby faces are outnumbered, with the heels having more members on their team to provide an unfair advantage. In some two-on-one handicap matches, the team with superior numbers act under tag team rules, with one person in the ring at a time. In others, such as tornado tag team matches, all competitors are in the ring at the same time. In the 1980s and 1990s, handicap matches were used in preliminary matches involving large star wrestlers, such as King Kong Bundy, Big Van Vader or Yoko Zuna who as a way to get a monster heel persona slash gimmick over with the crowd, would completely dominate their opponents despite the latter's superiority in numbers. On December 25, 2017, Braun Strowman became the secret opponent for the Maestourage, who were wearing Christmas costume in a secret Santa handicap match. Strowman beat the Maestourage in a squash match. Iron Man Match An Iron Man match is a multiple fall match with a set time limit. The match is won by the wrestler who wins the most falls within the said time limit, by either pinfall, submission, disqualification, or countout. Lumberjack Match A lumberjack match is a standard match with the exception that the ring is surrounded by a group of wrestlers not directly involved in it. These wrestlers, known collectively as lumberjacks are there to prevent the wrestlers in the match from getting Getting out of the ring, the groups of lumberjacks are typically split up into groups of faces and heels who occupy opposing sides around the ring. Usually, the opposing lumberjacks swarm the wrestlers if they leave the ring and force them back in it. Occasional interference from the lumberjacks is not uncommon, or is an all-out brawl on the outside involving most of the lumberjacks. Early lumberjack matches even featured the lumberjacks wearing stereotypical lumberjack clothing in keeping with the lumberjack theme though this is generally no longer done. A common theme is for the lumberjacks to consist entirely of heel wrestlers, to stack the odds against the face competitor. Variations of this match include the Canadian lumberjack match, in which the lumberjacks are equipped with leather straps, the extreme lumberjack match, competed under extreme rules, and TNA's fans' revenge, 
lumberjack match, during which fans equipped with straps act as lumberjacks and are encouraged to whip wrestlers. Strip matches In two kinds of matches, a wrestler doesn't win by pinfall or submission, but only by stripping their opponent of their clothing. Historically, these types of matches were contested between managers or valets, due to their supposed lack of wrestling ability. In the Attitude Era, however, full-time female wrestlers began engaging in strip matches for the purpose of titillation. Bra and Panties Match A bra and panties match is so named, because it takes place between any number of female competitors, with the winner being the first, to strip her opponent down to her bra and panties. Tuxedo Match a tuxedo match is similar to the bra and panties match, where the match is contested between two male competitors in tuxedos. To win, a wrestler must strip their opponent's tuxedo off. Evening gown match An evening gown match is similar to the bra and panties match, and is usually contested by two female competitors. The victor of the match is the wrestler who removes the evening gown of her opponent. Substance match the match is contested in a large container filled with various substances, typically between two female individuals who may or may not have experience with wrestling. Substances can include anything from mud to chocolate milk. Sometimes, specialty substances are used for certain occasions and more gravy for Thanksgiving and eggnog for Christmas. Non-wrestling matches Occasionally, a match would take place under the rules of a different type of contest. Like professional wrestling matches, the matches would be worked, with the participants not being in the perceived danger and the winner being predetermined. Boxing Match The professional wrestling version of a boxing match has standard boxing rules applied to it. Wrestlers wear boxing gloves, and the match is contested in rounds with fouls given out, though the matches are generally worked and end with one wrestler cheating, and using wrestling maneuvers. Mixed Martial Arts Match The professional wrestling version of a mixed martial arts match and as standard MMA rules apply to it. As in MMA, pinfalls are not a valid method of victory. Sumo Match For a sumo match, the ropes are removed from the ring and standard sumo rules apply. The first person to step outside of the ring or touch the mat, with any part of the body, but the soles of the feet is the loser. Hardcore-based variations Hardcore wrestling is a subset of professional wrestling where some, any, or all of the traditional rules do not apply. Most often this simply means there are no disqualifications, which itself eliminates countouts, allowing decisions to take place anywhere. Other common euphemisms for hardcore matches are street fight, extreme rules match, ultra-violent rules match, hardcore extreme match, no holds barred match, bimbo brawl, and the good housekeeping match. Some promotions, such as Frontier Martial Arts Wrestling, the International Wrestling Association of Japan, International Wrestling Syndicate, Extreme Championship Wrestling, Big Japan Pro Wrestling, and Combat Zone Wrestling, have specialized in hardcore matches, with standard, non-hardcore matches being the exception. World Championship Wrestling utilized the term Raven's rules for hardcore matches involving the wrestler Raven. They also created their own specific brand of hardcore match, for which bouts were to begin backstage rather than in the ring. Barbed Wire Steel Cage Match A barbed wire steel cage match is one of any number of matches that uses strands of barbed wire in some capacity. Simply using barbed wire in an otherwise regular steel cage match does not make the match a barbed wire steel cage match. The barbed wire must be part of the match's design. Another variations are the razor wire steel cage match, a similar concept to that of the barbed wire cage match. However the barbed wire is replaced by razor wire and is wrapped around the top, corners, and walls of the cage, and barbed wire razor wire steel cage match is the same as the barbed wire cage match. However the top, corners, and walls of the cage are covered with barbed wire, then also further covered with razor wire. Clockwork Orange House of Fun Match The Clockwork Orange House of Fun Match, known as Raven's House of Fun or simply House of Fun, 
was created by professional wrestler Raven. It is a singles match for which poles attached to the ring posts measured about 5 to 6 feet above the turnbuckles, with single chains wrapped from and hanging on the poles to various points on the ring itself with many weapons hanging from and attached to steel chains above the ring, sometimes with sides of a steel cage attached to and erected on the ring. In the first match the use of weapons is legal, and the only way to win was to put an opponent through two tables after throwing them off, Raven's perch, but afterwards it was changed to Falls Count Anywhere rules. Fans bring the weapons match. In a fans bring the weapons match, all the weapons are provided by the fans prior to the show. Sometimes the weapons will be in the ring before the match starts, although occasionally weapons will be handed to the wrestlers during the action. This match type gained popular fame in the now defunct ECW. First Blood Match A first blood match is a no disqualification match where in order to win a wrestler has to make his opponent bleed, or, rather, depending on the nuances of the promotion and the angle surrounding the match, the first person to bleed loses, regardless of source. There have been matches where bloody noses count in a variation called Sadistic Madness, which was created by Total Non-Stop Action Wrestling. The opponent must be bleeding before a wrestler can legally pin them. Although, there are no disqualifications, outside interference cannot be seen causing the participant to bleed. A variation, the Doomsday Chamber of Blood, takes place inside of a barbed wire topped cage. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?